I'm Jenny. And I'm Jesse, and today we're going to talk about how you can find dump stations and potable water. If you have no idea what a dump station is, it's basically the place where you go to dump the tanks in your trailer. And potable water means that it's safe to drink and it's safe to put into your camper. First off, we're going to talk a little bit about how we find dump stations. We've only been full-timing for about a year now, but we've learned some things along the way that we think can be helpful for others as well. Our main source for finding RV dump stations is a website called Compendium, which is also the same website we use to find campsites. We mostly use their app, which is really nice and easy to use. Basically, when you open up the app, you can write in your location, or you can look at locations nearby. So if I click on nearby dump stations right now, it's going to show me where I am on the map, and it's going to show me the closest the campground or dump station. Since I'm mainly looking for a dump station right now and not a campground, I'm going to click on the one that has a dump station uh, symbol. We're about 20 miles uh, north of Columbia Falls, and we're going to be driving through there on the way out of here. So if I look at one that's on the way down there, I find this Conoco gas station. And now I can click on the name of it to get more information like the address. And I can also quickly go to Google Maps from here. You can also find reviews from other people that have been here before, and sometimes uh, it can have more updated information than what the companion knows about, so always check the reviews if there are any. It's a good way to find out if the water there is potable or not, because a lot of time it won't be listed and somebody will comment that it is. It's, I mean, it's, you have to trust the person commenting, but it helps a lot to know what other people say. If you're using their website, you can do the same thing, but they also have a dedicated dump station list where you can click on a specific state and then it's going to show you all of the dump stations in that state. If we can't find one nearby or we have more questions about a specific location, our next go-to website is Sandy Dumps. In Sandy Dumps, you put in your location and you get a list view of nearby dump stations or campgrounds with dump stations. You can also find a map view there too. It's a great place to find the cost of a dump station or if they have potable water or not. Another website that is very much like Sandy Dumps is rvdumps.com. There's also a website called freecampsites.net, which is mostly a site to find campgrounds, but you can add a filter to only show campgrounds that have dump stations. If we can't find a dedicated dump station, what we usually do is we go stay at a campground for a night. One way we save money when staying at campgrounds is with the Passport America. It's a membership for RVers that costs less than $50 for a whole year. It's a membership where participating campgrounds offer a discount that's usually up to 50% off. Sometimes that helps to save money even if there is a dump station nearby, because we've been to some places where it costs $20 to dump our trailer, but if we go on Passport America we can find a campground for $15 a night. So the Passport America membership has helped us find RV parks with full hookups that are even cheaper than dump stations. Sometimes it's like $5 more to get full hookups for a night than to use the dump station and so it just feels more worth it to like have a really nice night with hookups than it is to use the dump station. Especially since we boondock like 95% of the time, it's nice to go to an RV park and have full hookups for a night. Even if an RV park or campground isn't part of Passport America, we'll give them a call sometimes to see if they'll let us dump our trailer there. Oftentimes they will for a fee. It can also be a great way to find potable water or a dumpster. Some other places that we have also found dump stations are at state parks and rest stops. And sometimes if you're in a really popular BLM camping location, there'll even be like private businesses that have dump stations. Like in Arizona, we found that a couple times. And there are also companies nowadays that come out to you and empty your trailer for you for a fee. We haven't tried that, but we've heard that there, there are some good ones down south. You can almost find a dump station anywhere, you just have to know where to look. One last place that we haven't tried ourselves but we've heard about is Boondockers Welcome. It's another membership where people, regular people, can go in and add their home. Some people have dump stations or water available for you when you come there. So that's one last thing you might want to try. Now we're going to move on to how we find potable water, also known as drinking water. Most of the dump stations we go to have water, but I'd say that only half of them have potable water. Usually there's a sign that lets you know whether the water is potable or not. If there is no sign, you should always assume that it's not, and you should try to contact the owner of the dump station and ask if the water is safe to drink or not. One easy way to find out whether a dump station has potable water or not is by looking at the reviews on the compendium. Sandy Dumps is also a good way to find out because they have a little icon that shows whether the water at the dump station is potable or not. If we have dumped our camper and we haven't found any potable water, what we usually do is that we call a nearby RV park and ask if we can come there and fill up our fresh water tank. A lot of the times they let us do it for free, but sometimes you have to pay and it's usually less than $10 though. 
Some other good places you can check for fresh water are local parks, rest stops, and even auto parts stores like Napa. A lot of times they'll have a spout on the outside of the store that's used to refill radiators, and if you go in and ask them, a lot of times they'll just let you fill up your trailer. Our last resort is those water refill stations often found inside Walmart. We've also found a lot of them outside grocery stores and gas stations. We have five seven gallon jugs that we keep in the back of our truck for this purpose. It's much easier to bring a couple of jugs than your whole camper to a grocery store. So what we do is that we go there and fill them up and then we take them back to our trailer and then we use a water pump to pump that water into the camper. So we have 35 gallons that we can carry around in those jugs and it'll usually be like five dollars to fill them up at places like that because it's usually 15 to 30 cents per gallon. We also fill those jugs up before we go to our next campsite because that means that we have a lot of extra water when we're boondocking. So that's how we find dump stations and potable water. If you have any questions or want to share any stories or ways that you find dump stations, leave a comment below. And thanks for watching.